Day two in Chile and Sebastian Auger, a man on a mission. Lightning quick on stage seven, despite sweeping the roads for his rivals, ensuring the Frenchman was still in the mix for strong points, despite dropping back on Friday. But his hard work would all come undone on the very next test. Oh, he's run wide there. That was really... That was straight, that's that was, so slow. That was really odd. I wonder has he got a front right puncher and that's beached. So this is that's Sebastian Auger really, that we're watching who... has really bizarre Bex. That was really bizarre. It was Toyota teammates Albert Evans and Scott Martin who were starting to establish a narrow lead over Oik Tanak. The Welshman, yet to win this season, mastering the morning stages to pull away from his closest rivals, taking an 11 second lead into midday service. Bit of a surprise, uh, difficult conditions. Like almost, like I would say, damp, very nearly to the start, uh, which was not what we really expected. Thick fog at the top, and I just said to Scott, I'm not sure what that's like. When it's like that, you have no idea how you're doing, so we'll take it. His morning was made easier when his closest rival, Tanak, spun on stage eight. Oh, Tanak oh. getting that very wrong, bit of a half spin there. The Estonians' teammates' challenging chilly weekend continued. Esipekalapi ripping the bumper from his car as he rumbled through the rocky terrain. We slid wide on the, in the beginning on the, on the muddy corner. Um, and yeah, it's a soft, soft gravel took it away. No dramas really, no? Well, it was a bit tricky to see because it, it stayed in front of me. It turned up, you know, so the bumper was blocking the view uh, for, I don't know, maybe one kilometer after that, but then and I saw a cut and I went there to rip it off, so I, I managed to do that. Crazy conditions on stage 11 where co-drivers came into their own as thick fog shrouded the stage, making visibility near impossible. Just listen to Martin on the throttle. He's on and off the throttle. That's a lack of confidence. He just doesn't know completely where he's going. Bravest of them all was championship leader Thierry Neville. The Belgian five seconds quicker than his closest rival Robin Perra, with the Finn claiming the rally lead as the fog worsened for those behind. It was really, really bad. I, I don't think I have ever been driving in, uh, in that kind of condition with the rally car. The Toyota man extended his lead through the day's final test, Evans and Tanak dropping big time to the two-time world champion. So, with four stages to go, it's Robin Perra, Evans, Tanak, Neville and Adrian Formo in the top five. Six for Sami Piari and he's followed by Gregoire Munster, Lappi, WRC2 leader Nikolai Greisin and Gus Greensmith.